The universe is a big, mysterious, and ever-changing place. But just like we have baby photos that show how we looked when we were little, scientists also have a baby picture of the universe. Only they were able to look 14 billion years into the past. How is it possible? Well, let's figure it out. Imagine winning the Oscars of science for a picture that shows the entire universe when it was just a baby. Scientists achieved this fantastic feat using NASA's Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe. To take this picture, they built a super cool satellite, launched it into space, and collected massive amounts of data about the universe. This image turned out to be a cosmic treasure trove. It helped answer some of the universe's biggest questions, but also revealed a few new mysteries. This groundbreaking data confirmed the standard model of cosmology and told us that our universe is around 13.7 billion years old. Plus, it showed us that the elements in our regular periodic table make up only a tiny fraction of the universe's recipe. To be honest, this is not quite a photo in the usual sense. Of course, we cannot actually photograph what happened so long ago. The picture we're talking about is called the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB for short. Now, the CMB is like a faint glowing light that fills up the entire universe in every direction. These clues that can help us understand how the universe evolved into what it is today CMB is a super cool glow that fills up the entire universe. You see, when you look through a regular telescope, the space between stars and galaxies seems pretty dark. But with an amazing radio telescope, we can actually detect that this empty, dark space is filled with a super faint and even glow. This glow is all around us, and it's not coming from any star or galaxy. This is the cosmic microwave background, and it's strongest in the microwave part of the radio spectrum. The CMB is a frozen treasure, super chilly at around minus 455 degrees Fahrenheit. Bruh, that's colder than any winter you've experienced. This ancient light formed about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, which happened around 14 billion years ago. So we're looking way back in time. In the beginning, the universe was like a thick fog of incredibly hot plasma. It was almost 500 million degrees Fahrenheit. It was so hot that atoms couldn't even exist yet. Only wild electrons and protons bouncing around like crazy. Because of this super hot fog, any light that tried to travel got scattered by those mischievous electrons. It was basically like trying to see through a foggy car windshield. But then, the universe started expanding in all directions, just like a cosmic balloon getting bigger and bigger. And it's still expanding today. As the universe did that, it began to cool down. When it turned 380,000 years old, it finally cooled enough for electrons and protons to come together. These tiny particles started to combine, forming mostly hydrogen atoms. When that happened, the universe finally became transparent, like a clear window. The moment of this magical transition is called the recombination epoch. Once the foggy era ended, the light could travel freely. The universe became like a vast playground for light to bounce around and explore. And, as you know, light has a certain speed. 186,000 miles per second, to be specific. And it takes some time for light from distant places to reach us. So, in other words, the CMB is the oldest light in the universe. It's like a capture from a moment when the universe just started to become clear and transparent. As this light traveled through space, it went through all sorts of adventures, 
like the formation of stars and galaxies. Along the way, it lost some energy and transformed into microwaves, which our eyes can't see, and that can be detected only with special tools. Also, there are some tricky things that can mess with the data. For example, galaxy clusters. These are big groups of galaxies hanging out together in space. When the ancient light from the CMB travels across the universe, it encounters these groups, and these sneaky clusters try to leave their marks on the CMB. They distort the patterns in the ancient glow, like smudging the ink in the important ancient book. That's why scientists have to invent techniques and supercomputers to help clean up this mess and decode everything properly. Due to all this, the CMB isn't perfectly smooth. It has a few little bumps and patterns. These weird patterns make it unique, kind of like the universe's fingerprint. Scientists have been using amazing tools like the Cosmic Background Explorer and Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe to study these patterns. The COBE, our cosmic camera, took the first ever map of the sky in microwaves from 1989 to 1993. Why do we study it? Well, because the CMB can help us learn so much about the early universe. Stuff like how it expanded, how much normal matter and mysterious dark matter it had, and even the overall shape of the universe, and much more. We're basically playing detective with the cosmos, trying to decode the mysteries of our world by little clues and prints. What are the results? Well, awesome tools like the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe helped us to learn more incredible facts. For example, we found out that we can actually only see 5% of the universe. Imagine the universe as a cosmic pie. Scientists learned that 68% of it is made up of something called dark energy and 27% is dark matter. Only a tiny 5% is made of normal matter the one that we, humans, can see. So, most of the universe is like this hidden realm we can't even imagine. We also found out what happened in the beginning of times. Picture the universe right after the Big Bang. It was so tiny, way smaller than a proton. Everything we see today was crammed into this itsy-bitsy space. The rules of quantum mechanics which let weird and wild things happen, were in full swing back then. Matter and energy were like playful adventurers, borrowing from the future and disappearing into nothingness. Then, cosmic inflation happened, and the universe suddenly expanded like popcorn on a cosmic scale. It became a trillion trillion times bigger than it was, creating waves of gravitational chaos everywhere. Some gravitational waves filled the baby universe like a sea, and their patterns left unique fingerprints on the CMB light. And all that learned thanks to the pictures of the CMB. Anyway, NASA has this awesome plan to study the universe's baby picture. They're going to use a really cool observatory called Piper, which stands for Primordial Inflation Polarization Explorer. Imagine Piper as a special space balloon that's going to fly up high in the sky from a place called Fort Sumner in New Mexico. It has two powerful telescopes that sit in a hot tub-sized container filled with liquid helium. This liquid helium is super cold at around minus 452 degrees Fahrenheit. But Piper loves the chill because it's extremely sensitive. What is its mission? To learn all about the early days of the universe, right from its first baby picture. When Piper is up there, it's going to look very carefully at the CMB, trying to find some hidden patterns that hold the secrets of how the universe grew and changed over time. This spy with a magnifying glass will be examining 85% of the sky, Piper's launch is scheduled for late September. You can even watch the exciting balloon filling action live on the Columbia Scientific Balloon Facility website. It's going to be out of this world fun. 
So the cosmic microwave background is like a time-traveling storyteller, giving us valuable clues about the universe's incredible past. Isn't that awesome? Space is full of surprises, and there's so much more to discover. Keep your eyes on the stars, and who knows what else we'll find out there. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.